Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video, we're going to continue considering SR units, and we're going to be particularly looking at the units of velocity and acceleration. Now, this is a very short and simple video, but if you haven't already done so, please click the link that's in the description below so that you can download the worksheet that goes with this whole series of videos and fill that in as we go along. Any one of the SR units that's on this sheet could come up in your multiple choice exam for your electrical studies, or it may be needed uh, for additional questions if you're studying at level three. So make sure you've got that worksheet ready to go, and we'll show you how to fill that in on the screen. Now, first of all, let's talk about velocity. Now, velocity is a bit like speed, except that velocity also includes a direction. So the direction that the object is traveling in is very, very important. When we talk about speed, we're simply talking about how much distance is covered by an object in a given period of time. But when we start to talk about velocity, there also has to be a direction included in that, which is how we can also end up having a negative value for velocity. So that's quite an important uh, kind of concept for engineers. So we'll be using that moving forward. Now, when we start to think about our SR units, first of all, we want to think about the mathematical symbol that we're going to be using. And the mathematical symbol is a lower case V. Now, it's really important to remember we don't measure this in miles per hour. So when you're driving along in your car, obviously, uh, you're probably used to your needle uh, registering miles per hour if you're in the UK or in America, uh, whereas perhaps if you're in uh, the rest of Europe, you may well be working in kilometers per hour. But the SI base unit for velocity is meters per second. And that's really, really important when you're doing calculations. Generally speaking, you always have to change your velocity into that base unit meters per second in order to make it work for the rest of your calculation. And the unit symbol that we use is very simply a lowercase m slash lowercase s. And that makes us think of meters per second. You can see there we've combined our SI units for length and time to give us a new SR unit of velocity. Next, we've got acceleration. Uh, now we can just think of acceleration as being the change in velocity of an object over a given period of time. The mathematical symbol that we use for this is a lowercase a. The unit that we use is meters per second per second. So in other words, it's how much the velocity is changing every second. Now, the unit symbol that we use for this is quite interesting because it's meters per second, but then we put a little squared symbol above the second there. So you've got meters per second squared is often how it's referred to. So there we go, just a nice simple video that we've got for this week's topic, those two SR units for velocity and acceleration. Again, classic exam questions that you may get, uh, may ask you to identify the unit symbol for one of those two values. Uh, it may ask you uh, what is uh, velocity measured in, and again, they'll try and throw you off. They'll put in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, things like that to try and throw you off. So remember the base unit is meters per second for velocity. That's quite an important one when you're going into your assessments there. So all that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.